folks, welcome to another edition of Play Branson, where you get to know Branson's entertainers better. My name is Chris Meyer. I'm going to be your host for today. And on today's show, we have Kevin Knutson with Pierce Arrow, and he's in both the Decades show there and the Country show. Uh, longtime Branson entertainer. It's been about three and a half years since he has been on the show, so we're looking forward to catching up with him and talking about uh, Pierce Arrow and his history with him. Um, I do want to get a little nostalgic. I do this every so often. I pull some stuff out of the closet, and so I want to bring bring out some pictures and uh, see if this captures anybody's memories that's maybe has come to Branson for a long time. So I used to live next to these guys. You might remember them, the Rankin brothers. They were uh, out at the Welk Resort for a while and over at the Clay Cooper Theater and a couple other theaters in town. And uh, they were some brothers here in town that performed for a while. They're not performing anymore. In fact, uh, uh, I think they both live in Texas now, but they were, here is another one right here. I don't know if you remember this guy, Ronnie Prophet. Ronnie Prophet was an amazing guitar player. Uh, I think he had Canadian roots and uh, spent some time here in Branson. And so uh, part of the history of Branson. And then here's another guy. Um, you might remember this, the Charlie Pride Theater, uh, which is now the White House Theater. But Char that's where Charlie Pride originally came and had his own theater here in town. And uh, then he did some dates, I know, at Andy Williams as well. But just part of our uh, tribute to our past entertainers that have been here in Branson. Um, and so, folks, we are going to be back in just a second with Kevin Knutson. Hang tight. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782 ibranson.com Hey folks, welcome back to the show and on the show for the actual third time. It is my third time. It's your third time on here. Um, Kevin Knutson, so welcome. It's great to be here, thank you. Um, and so I went back and I looked and you, and this is really bizarre because you were on the show twice in right. 2018. 18. And very rarely do I ever have t somebody on the show twice in one right. year. And so I don't know if you had a brother that bailed out or something. Huh? Probably. I think that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Probably. maybe you had somebody bailed and you had to cover for him. I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, so it's good to have you back on it's the great show. Great to be here. Thank you, Chris. Um, and um, you've been in Branson for a long time, but maybe people don't know your musical background, your musical history, or any of that stuff. And so. Kind of, kind of tell people about that, and then in the second half we'll talk about Pierce Arrow. Okay. So uh, probably in my high school years is when I really started looking at doing music as a living or having that desire to do it professionally. So I took up guitar when I was 15, started to learn to play that, listened to all the, the rock musicians. Uh, that's what I went for back then was rock and roll. First band that I probably listened to the most was Boston. Remember Boston? Oh yeah. And then Styx and didn't really get into Led Zeppelin or the Beatles at that time but uh, I liked ACDC when they came out and Def Leppard when they Def came Leppard. out. I'm a big Def Leppard yeah. fan. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, I uh, was formed a band back then and, and then uh, a couple of my brothers and myself we did punk rock for about a year. So Black Flag became our huh. our uh, example there, but they were just too hard. So I mean, just it just was too crazy. I went to a couple of uh, punk rock concerts and all the slam dancing, and I'm like, I don't think this is the direction I want to go. Yeah. So, and then of course I uh, started singing with my brothers, and we sang as a family hobby for a long time. Um, then we were on the Osmonds in 1978. So we have a friendship with the Osmonds. And uh, then most of us uh, left for a couple of years to go serve missions for the church. And then we came back and uh, redid the group. So in 1987, I called three of my brothers and said, hey, you guys should come out to California 
and let's start singing on the streets. So we did that, and then we slowly made a career. And so um, over the next, um, I would say, gosh, that's been 30, 1987 is 35, is that 35 years ago? Mm -hmm. 35 years ago. So the last 35 years, just been slowly building that career. Did a lot of cruise ships, a lot of fairs, a lot of festivals, um, you know, corporate parties and corporate uh, performances over the years. And then we got on Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. So then Branson, the opportunity to come to Branson came up back in 2006. And one of my brothers uh, got a little tip that there was a theater that was wanting a show. So we came here and did a, uh, a showcase. Everyone said, hey, you guys need to come to Branson. This is the place for you. So I had a very successful career with my brothers. Uh, but for me, musically, uh, I've always liked country. About 30 years ago, about 30 years ago, I started listening to country. And Garth Brooks mm -hmm. was my favorite. He's not anymore. I kind of <laughs> like Toby Keith now. But, yeah. <laughs> but I heard t that the loudest, uh, Garth did a, a concert last weekend at LSU. And 102,000 people created an earthquake. I don't know if you heard about that. They were so loud singing um, uh, Baton Rouge that they caused a small earthquake. I have not heard that. <laughs> yeah, now, I, so. I went and saw Garth. <laughs> but he's he a was, legend, I mean. I mean, I went and saw him a couple of weeks ago when he was over at the Razorback Stadium. And I, I think there was probably right. 70,000 yeah, people he there. Them up. And that was the first time in that stadium that they had had a concert like that. Yeah. And uh, I'd seen Garth in Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena, but I made the mistake of booking the late show. Well, his first show got out late. Oh, and then no, the late really show, went late. it went really late, and I had to catch a flight the next day, and I had my kids with me. Literally, they were sleeping during the Garth <laughs> show, and we didn't even stay for the whole thing, and we left like at one in the morning yeah. after he sang Friends in Low Places. Right. Uh, but I'm like, I gotta see, so I, I'm like, I gotta see him at least yeah, once. Yeah, he's a legend. You know, yeah. and uh, he did a great job, and of yeah. course the crowd was crazy for him. And, yeah, I've, I've I've always enjoyed his music and his persona is just so big. He's he might be the biggest star in the world. I don't know, it's debatable. But anyway, so country uh, came into my life in the the early '90s, about 1990. I started listening to country, and just got familiar with all the artists. And I do like the pop country that's out too. I know a lot of people go, oh, that's not really country, but you know, it's all under the umbrella, and people are selling albums and making great music. So. But I always go back to 80s. 80s will be my favorite uh, music. So. Yeah. Are you a Van Halen fan? That's my number one band. There right we go, there. Van Halen. Van Halen. 5150. Yeah, I cried when things. Eddie died. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and his son recently, you mentioned Eddie, his son was recently in Springfield. I wanted yeah, to go see him. Yeah, the other him. night, right? Well, Just Sunday night? I don't know when it was, but it I missed it. It was the 16th. It. I missed it. At Gilloy's. Yeah. He was so, there. Yeah. So. So we were before we turn the cameras on. No, it's on. actually coming up this Sunday, Chris. Hmm. So it's sometime soon. He's coming up. We'll, we'll have this to look at that. Sunday, Wolfgang, coming up. His son, his son's the name is Wolfgang, Disney, right? Yeah, Wolfgang. Wolfgang, yeah. He's, he's so, going to be there. You can still get tickets, I think. There we go. Um, but you and I went to see Kiss in concert, Kiss. and that was like the last time I saw you, and that was right. like right before the pandemic happened. Yeah. And uh, we met up there. I'd gotten tickets, and we went and saw Kiss together. I just remember the people in front of us kept putting their hands up. Yes, so yes. We, we couldn't see. <laughs> we were in nosebleed seats anyway, right? Uh, but, uh, uh, that was fun. Anyway, so you um, you joined Piercero last year. Been with him for a little over a year now. Yeah, and so let's we want to talk about Piercero and what's going on there. Okay. And so this is a good place for us to stop. And so we'll be back in just a second with more with Kevin Knutzi.
Hey folks, welcome back to the show. And today here we are we are here with Kevin Knutson and you are over at Pierce Arrow. Pierce Arrow. And so tell us what's going on at Pierce Arrow because you guys have a couple different shows. So maybe nobody's, maybe somebody's never seen that show. They don't yeah. know anything about it. Tell us what's going on. Well, right now we're doing a, a country show on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night, 8 p.m. And we do some Alabama, uh, some older, older Johnny Cash, and some newer in it. Uh, it's, it's just a wide variety of country songs. And uh, I think I enjoy that show a little more than the Decades, but they're both equally just great shows. So Decades on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and we do some rock and roll in that show. Um, older stuff and some newer stuff. But uh, it's I'm having a great time over there. I enjoy it. And so Pierce Arrow has been around for a very long time. Over 20 years. Uh, in Branson. Yeah. And besides, like, there's four guys typically four that singers. are singing together. Bass, right? baritone, lead, and tenor. And what, what, tenor. Part, what part are you They singing? hired me to be the baritone. The baritone. But I get lots of leads. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but besides you guys, you also have a comedian. Right. right? James Sibley. And so James, very funny guy. He's on the radio from 6 to 9. I think it's 106.3. No, it's not. It's, um, I can't remember. It's mm -hmm. the classic rock station here in town. Yeah, so he's doing that in the mornings yeah. and then the shows. Yep, and then we have a, a band of five musicians. So the show is completely live. And, you know, as we know, there are some shows that have tracks in town, but this show is completely live. The band is, it's all... You can just feel it. I mean, when you're on stage, you're like, okay, you know, it's us. We're creating the energy here. So we don't have any, we're not following anything. It's the, the drummer, Anthony, does the count off and we start the songs. So I've seen other shows where you can tell there's a, a click track going. There's no click track in our show. Yeah. So it's all just completely live. And so the country show, you're gonna, it's gonna be pretty much a variety of country music. Right. Um, and Brooks then, and Dunn, Alabama, Johnny Cash. Uh, we do a new song by Aaron Lewis, which has been out for the last six months on the radio. Yeah. And then we always do a tribute to the veterans. On there as well. And yeah. then your decade show, really, it's a show that takes people through the different decades. Right. And so what decade do you guys start out in? Uh, we start off the uh, uh, old time rock and roll, Bob Seger. So that's got to be from the 70s, isn't it? 70s, yeah. I don't, I don't know. It sounds don't like know. it. <laughs> and then we do uh, CCR, which uh, I never really used to listen to CCR, but they, uh, that's, I mean, John Fogarty was, was the man, you know, from the 60s, so 60s and 70s. Um, I'm trying to think of the different songs we do without giving the show away. Um, <clears throat> what do you got from the 80s in there? Can you tell us any of the 80s? I don't remember. Okay. Right now. <laughs> um, well, but you're taking people through all these just, and I, I remember going to the show, and I yeah. the, I remember the guy in front of me, his his just head was bobbing, and he knew yeah. all the songs. Even yeah. even though you may go through different decades, a lot of times people recognize all those songs from those different decades, right? I mean, yeah, you, yeah. I mean, we do Footloose in the show, so that's I guess that's an '80s song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, is it more country or more rock or a little bit of both? It's 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 rock and roll. There's, rock and roll. There's not any country in it. Okay. But uh, we we just learned a new song for. Um, we're doing "Drift Away," which is a brand new. Uh, if you know that song. Uh, Give me the beat, boy, and free my soul. So, Want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away? That's a new one we just put in. Um, I I just I just think that the energy of the show is. Uh, you, you watch the people get in to the music and start, you know, bobbing, like you said, bobbing their heads and clapping their hands. And we usually get a standing ovation every night at the end yeah. of the show. Tell us about the other guys you're singing with. We've got uh, Chad Rudin, who's the lead, and uh, he is a dynamic performer. This guy is just amazing. He's all over the stage, performs with everything he has, and uh, I, he's probably my favorite performer in the show. No offense, Tony and Dan. But, <laughs> well, Chad can't. <laughs> but but as far as a singer goes, now Tony Turner, uh, he can just sing anything. And he can do the 80s rock. He sings as high as you, you can go, mm -hmm. full voice. And he just really has that grit. So Tony's been with the show for nine years. And uh, 
Dan, of course, is the owner, has been with the show from the beginning. He's the right. bass. He used to be the lowest bass singer in the world, but I think he's third now. So, yeah. But he said, at one time he held the record for the lowest note in the world. Yep. And he puts that voice in that microphone and the whole room just you know, fills up. Yeah. And we've had, we've had all of those guys on the show previously. Dan, we had on last season for the first time ever. Right. Uh, Tony was, but Tony, I don't know, it was probably several years ago. And then yeah. I think Chad may have been last year or the year before. But I saw Chad, I think the first time maybe I saw him, there was a show in town called Forever Young. Right. And yeah. I'm like, dude, that guy can rock it. Like, he, he, he can really, belt it out. I don't so, think I've seen anybody in town that performs more intensely than Chad. Yeah. So during the show, my question is, is your hair spiked? Yeah. Okay. But not on the country show. Not on the country show. I look show. like this. You look like this. Okay. <laughs> so if you want to see the spiked hair, like, it's it kind of was your trademark. It still is. It you still know? Is. And I just decided to start wearing a hat at the country show. I got yeah. this one from Silver Dollar City. Yeah, it looks good. It looks Thank good. You. So, okay, one show, no spike hair. <laughs> another show, no spike hair. There you go. And uh, but you know, I think I think that's how people remember you too. When you right. have like something that's a little unique and different. Right. And we talked about that kind of in yeah. the past. Um, that you know, like people are like, hey, who's that guy with the spiked hair? And <laughs> and when we say spiked hair, like it's not just cut short. It's like. There, <laughs> and you've had different amounts of spikes. Right. I have nine right now. Nine, up to 25, right? Yeah, or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I used to do a lot. Does that mean you have less hair and you only can get nine now? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> my, 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 hair's, my hair's falling out, At least too. you're wearing orange. Thank yes, you, Chris. Yes. So I normally don't wear orange, but it's I did this color. because that is his color. It is. And... Uh, Back on the 18, 2018 show, it was like the first time I'd ever worn orange was on that show. Because you used to have an orange, like kind of orange Camaro, right? I still have it. You still have it? Yeah. Okay. And there's a little tinge of orange kind of Kind in of, yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Dark yeah, orange. Just burnt kinda. orange. So anyway, folks, <laughs> the Pierce Arrow Theater is over on Shepherd of the Hills Expressway. It's in the same spot it's been for decades. Yeah. Um, and it's a... It's it's what I it's not too big of a theater, but it's not super small. It's kind of in between. About eight hundred and fifty seats. Eight hundred and fifty yep. seats. Yep. And so be sure to go check those guys out. Why don't you give the times one more time? So all the show times are eight PM, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is decades, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. It's the country show. Two We're different shows. A great time. Yep. So go see them at eight o'clock over at the Pierce Arrow Theater and you're gonna have a blast. You're gonna hear great music. You're going to see some great comedy with a live band all to boot. So one of Branson's, what I call, traditional style shows. So, folks, we'll be back in just a minute to wrap the show up. Folks, we're wrapping the show up today. Thanks for watching the show. We really do appreciate it. Um, if you have an artist that you would like to see on a future episode, if you'll just message us on Facebook or go to our website, playbranson.com, you can uh, find out how to get a hold of us that way. Um, and we'll do our best to try and get a future, and on a future episode, the artist that you are interested in. Um, the other thing is if you haven't liked us on Facebook, be sure to do that, facebook.com forward slash Play Branson. You can also find us on YouTube or um, on our website, playbranson.com. Be sure to look for our new Play Branson magazine out there on newsstands. Uh, it should be coming out anytime now, so if it's not already out, it will be out there soon. Um, some upcoming events in June. Um, we've got Skid Row, Warrant, and Quiet Riot June 18th coming up out at the Black Oak Amphitheater. Confederate Railroad's going to be in town June 19th over at the Nashville uh, uh, Roadhouse Live Theater. Neil McCoy's coming back to town on June 19th and 20th with Terry Bradshaw on June 22nd. They're both over at the Clay Cooper Theater. Sawyer Brown's coming in June 24th. Um, and then Celtic Throne, a new show over uh, at the Mansion Theater on June 30th. 
some things coming up later in July on July 22nd, Grand Funk Rail, Rail Road and Fog Hat over at the Black Oak Amphitheater as well. And something coming up a little later you may want to start planning for is the Southern Gospel Picnic out at Silver Dollar City. That's a real great time to come the end of the year, end of August, first part of September. So if you love gospel music, they have one of the best festivals in the country. And here's the deal. If you're thinking about coming to Branson, you really should come. There's something here for the whole family. Shows, attractions, the lakes, golf, shopping. It's a perfect destination right in the center of the country. You could pay a lot of money to fly to Florida to go see the mouse, but you're going to spend a lot more money. And there's not going to be as much to do as there is here actually in Branson. There's so much here to do. If you need help planning your vacation, you can go to the folks at ibranson.com. They can help you plan your entire trip hotels, shows, attractions, the whole bit. You can call them at 877-ENTERTAIN if you don't want to book online. They can help you over the phone and they don't charge those costly service fees like Ticketmaster. So be sure to check out ibranson.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week here on Play Branson.